Let's start this video with a quick quiz. Those are five of the six slugs that I did get to test today. That's all that is left of them. The question to you is, which one do you prefer? Which one do you think expanded the best? I'll show you the results just now. Hang on. Good morning, folks. Yep, I'm back and I'm finally getting to the messiest test I've ever done. And that's shooting slugs into clay. So today I'm going to try and get six slugs into the clay. Let's see how far I get with that. I've got three bricks already set up. I'll show you guys the detail just now. And I'm going to try and shoot the slugs at exactly the same speed to get the best indication of what they are doing and how they expand. So this is all about expansion. In the last video I spoke about the softness of the lead and the depth and width of the, see I learned, not the breadth, the width of the hollow point, the cavity there, and to see what the expansion will be. So today I get to shoot them into clay. I'm going to shoot them at 30 meters. So the slug would have slowed down a bit before it reached the target. And that's exactly what we want to demonstrate because you're not going to shoot clay right out of the barrel because that's not where you're going to hunt. You're going to hunt at 30 meters or beyond. Unfortunately, I'm only at the 30 meter range today. So that's where we're going to shoot. So the specimens up for today, I'm going to shoot the javelins, 217, 26 grainers. I'm going to shoot the H&Ns in 25 grain as well, 217s. And then Inferno's 217s in 25 grain. After that, if my clay works, I'm going to try the knockouts. I'm also going to try the G2s. Unfortunately, I only have these in 23 grains. I don't have them in 26 grains. But that's fine because here's a little interesting one. This is the Inferno Rex tip. It's got an orange ball in the front. I'll open the can up for you guys and show you just now. They're also in 23 grains. But I think these babies might expand a little bit extra due to that orange ball that's in front. I'll give you guys the detail just now. The setup for today is my trusty old FX. I've got the crony there to make sure I've got the right speeds. I've got a whole plethora of slugs and cameras and bugglers, weirdly doodly doos lying around there. I've got my very, very messy clay that I'm going to battle to clean afterwards. And today the wife is at home, so I need to be extra careful. So in essence, this is the messiest test I've ever done. But I think it was also one of the most fun things I ever did. First up is going to be the Infernos. Remember from the previous video, this is the one with a very sharp point. Right, next up, the H&Ns. Let's see what they do. Last one in line, the Javelins, 26 Rainers. Right, time to get the hands dirty, cut up the clay and see what the results are. First observations is quite interesting. Um, on the left hand side, those are the Infernos. But look at the expansion there on the H&Ns as well as the Javelins. I really didn't expect that to make such a big hole at impact. Time for me to go and cut open the clay and see what the extraction is. Right, back in the messy lab. Somewhere there's the entry hole for the Inferno. Um, no expansion, so it didn't get through the clay. This is the entry hole, my greatness. And then the back is the exit hole. This is the H&Ns, 25 grainers. And as you can see, there's a nice little hole right through the clay. And this one has also got one of the longest bricks of clay. So we straight through, so I won't be able to extract that uh, slug to look at it. The Javelins, 26 grainers, massive entry hole again, no exit hole in the back. So I'll have to cut that one open and see what happened. Now for the second messy part of this job, cutting these babies open. It's not the most scientific thing I've ever done in my life, but this is probably how they killed people in the old days in the World War as well. So let's kill some clay. Oh, it goes through nicely. The clay is still nice and soft. Let's do this one as well right through the middle there nice and soft and then the third one also nice and soft so let's open them 
Okay, now it's a good class of pistol, now. Let's open them up and see what they did. Gee whiskers, that's not a big hole. I'll measure that and give it to you later on. I'll put it to you. But wait, the cavity goes deeper, deeper, deeper. Okay, where's the bullet? There's the bullet, got it. Oh, I'll clean that up. But that's a nice flat little bullet. Look at that, that's quite great. So the channel went slightly askew into a deep channel, but not a big cavity up front. Let me knock off. Mm. Sorry, not a big cavity up front, but an elongated one. So that means that the slug didn't expand as well as it was supposed to. Let's look, have a look at the H&Ns. Oh, that's a nice expansion. Again, narrow channel and the actual bullet went straight through. So my guess is it didn't expand as it was supposed to. And for that reason, the, the slug went straight through. All right, let's have a look at the javelins. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now that's what I want to see. Look at the massive expansion here and also the massive expansion you get here. And it didn't even penetrate, well, I would say three inches into the clay. If I go and extract this slug, now look at that one. I'll watch this one. Look how flat that slug is compared to this one here. Now that is a massive, massive difference in expansion. Wow, these javelins really impressed me. Look at this cavity. Man, if you had a tooth ate that big, you'd be in serious, serious trouble. All right, looks like my clay experiment is working nicely. Time to see if I can, if I can do the other three. And then, oh, I still need to measure this. Ha ha, all right, let's measure that up. I'll put the measurements down just now. Thanks, dude. The depth of that cavity, about 1.9 inches. Not much difference. Oh, dirty hands again when I look at there. Right about, yeah, 1.9 inches. And the actual depth of this is, oh, my veneer is not long enough. Okay, so that's six inches to that mark there and another two inches. So the infernos penetrated more than eight inches into the clay, but not a very broad expansion. Let's have a look at the H&Ns. Open up a cavity and we just measure it and I'll give the veneer just now. Right, cavity of 2.4 inches, but again, I'm running out of veneer space there. That's 6.1, let's just make a mark. And it actually went through eight inches of clay, straight through, bullet gone. Uh, that's not nice. Right, let's look at the javelins. Now this is what you want to see in expansion test. Let me turn that around, I can actually do this now. That's an expansion of 3.2 inches. And the depth of this, I can measure it on my veneer, 4.8 inches. Look at that. Now that is expansion. That is not expansion. That, I don't know what to call it. All right, interesting. Here's my flag. All right, ta-da, javelin. All right, javelin on top of the mountain at the moment. Let's look at the other slugs. I am back, back again. All right, I, oh, nice hot work today. So what I did is I put some elbow grease into that clay to get the consistency right again. And I've got my next three babies up for a change. Most of you will know the knockouts. These are the 216s. Something you guys won't see a heck of a lot is this little baby. This is the Rex tip with the red ball. I'll do a close-up photo of that later and post it for you guys as well. But this is a very elongated type slug because of the plastic ball that it's got in the front. But according to the manufacturer, this should expand like you won't believe. So we're going to shoot that one as well. And then the last one is the G2s, uh, 23 grains to 17s. As I said, I don't have any 26 grainers currently. I'm going to shoot the knockouts first because that's on the same power setting. Because after that, I have to readjust the power setting and also get the gun to settle a bit on that lower rec pressure to get the same speeds on the 23. Let's go. Ooh, that sounded nice. <laughs> Next up, G2s. Ooh, 
that sounds so awesome. <laughs> yes. All right, last up, the Inferno Rex Point 23 grainers. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Sorry, I can't stop laughing. That sound is so ridiculous when it hits the clay. It's just awesome. I just love slip shooting slugs. I can't believe it. All right, let's go and have a look. Same messy procedure as the previous one. All right, so that's the impact. I know the lightning is not very good. On the uh, left hand side, those will be the G2s, 23 grain. The middle one with that giant hole in the middle, that would be the JSB knockouts. And then on the right hand side, that is the Inferno Rex tip. I'm going to put take these clay out now and dissect them again and see how the inside of that clay bars look. This is going to be awesome. So initially, no exit wounds. Great start. So let's start with the G223 grainers. Uh, looks like it mushroomed a little bit to the side. I'll open that one up further. Oopsie. These are the JSB knockouts. Work of the cavity for often. Now look at that for an entry hole versus the Rex tips and the other one that I already cut. But this one looks like it mushroomed. Okay, come on up and Okay, and then let's see if I can find the, the path for the infernos. Alright. Let's start there on the left hand side. You open this up. That's not too shabby, Nige. Oh, doesn't want to open up properly. Okay, that's quite a decent expansion. We just put that back. Depth not that big. Oh, there's a little sluggy. Where is it now? There it is. Oh, I'll have to wash that, but that 23 grain is flattened. I'll have a look at that one just now. All right, the knockouts. Let's open them up. Oh, this is lacquer. Also, very, very good expansion. Slug totally, totally flattened out. Looks like a saucer cup. Very nice. And then last but not least, the Rex Tip Infernos. <laughs> ah, come on, open up, baby. Open for me. All right, the expansion in this is beautiful. The slug disintegrated. There's pieces of the slug left. <laughs> I swear, it totally disintegrated. Just look at this inside. There's pieces of slug sitting there. Pieces of slug in the bottom. Pieces of slug all over the inside of the cavity. Pieces of slug on this side. Can't find the orange little ball. But wow. That's a nice, nice shoot. All right, let's go on the bus. Messy, messy. Yeah, all right, so we sit with the expansion on the G2s of about 3.1.9 uh, inches. Dip. Plus minus 5.6 inches. Um, but the expansion on this 23 grain is just awesome. That's nice to see. Well done to the G2 guys. All right, knockouts. Oh, this is such a massive expansion. Right, base to base expansion. Oh, that's millimeters, inches, baby. Expansion about 2.8 inches. Depth about. Oh, did it again. Ah, da 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 da. Zero inches. Approximately 5.6 inches. And then the exploding infernos, there's nothing else to call them, only went in about 4.6 inches. The cavity, or cavities, there's more than one, this one shot everything to pieces. Cavity is not that big, it's just over two inches, but as I said, I can't find the slug. It did disintegrate it. There's another piece of it. Ah, there's the red ball. I found it. Ah, there's the inside. Oh. I'll wash this as well. There's the inside of the slug. And that's the one that actually pushed all the lead out and made it expand and mushroom and go all over the place. I can't find the rest of the slug though. And I think it ruined my clay. 
this <laughs> this is now a lead clay not a clay clay this is this is then le clay at the end of the day all right okay guys um time to wrap up to give my final conclusion on this and i hope to see you guys on the next video thumbs up boots let's quickly rewind to the previous video just to go back and test the softness of the three additional slugs we added today in part one of this video i tested the softness of the infernos the h and n's as well as the javelins today i'm just going to check the softness of the inferno rex, rex tip the one thing about the rex tip that you don't pick up on the camera is that it actually has got some fine hairline fractures in the uh, lead itself and that's why it disintegrated on impact so i'm going to cut that one first i don't know how i'm going to get through that orange ball but let's give it a go all right quick observation this lead is super soft the rex tip is a very very soft lead and that would explain the disintegration of that little baby there next up is the knockouts Ah. right that was almost to expected if i looked at the expansion test as well that uh, the lead actually folded over it didn't expand out sideways and then the g2 slugs on the right hand side this one's got a very very thin edge onto the hollow point but the cavity is nice and wide and also quite deep so let's have a look at that quickly ah. all right I didn't get too deep into that lead so if I have to look at this three and just compare these three to each other I would say that in a ranking order the Rex tip from Inferno the softest lead then the knockouts then the G2's but when we look at the expansion it shows a slightly different picture or does it that's the question all right so let's start from left to right no particular order just how I place them on my gun case on the left hand side is the Rex tip now you guys can see the, how the slug actually looks that is a 23 grain slug versus that little 23 grain slug both of them 23 grains you can actually see the difference in size in the middle is the JSB knockout 25.4 grainer and if we look at expansion well um, that little orange ball is all that's left of the Inferno Rex tip so from an expansion point of view, I didn't thought it was integration, but yeah, it totally integrated on me. It's gone. I couldn't find anything else of that slug. The JSB knockouts made the perfect dome. Very nice round edges there, nice expansion, but still a lot of lead left and a lot of knocking power behind that left. If I look at the 23 grainers, this was probably the surprise. I did not expect this little 23 grainer to expand as it did. It performed very very good as you can see there's almost nothing left of that slug it totally folded away and there's some pieces missing as well and that's the g2 23 grainers moving over to the inferno 25.4 grainers the expansion on this one wasn't that big there's still a lot of slug left behind it in that regard but i was surprised that such a small uh, hollow point can do can expand like it did so I'm very impressed with this as well actually I was impressed with everything today except this one maybe so H&N that's how the slug looks uh, I couldn't find the slug because it went straight through the clay there wasn't much expansion although these are probably the, the some of the most accurate slugs I've ever shot the expansion is not good at all so you need to decide what is best for you expansion or accuracy because these two with the h and doesn't like like it's uh, lining up properly but if i had to choose a winner today and this is not because it's south african built this is purely out of that now look at that expansion guys that is seriously seriously impressive that's a 26 grain slug before and after it probably it didn't fold over on its edges like the other slugs did you can see that one folded over on the edge folded over on the edge the knocker was the closest still folded over on the edge but the infernos actually broadened out it make a massive massive hole in the clay 
and this one was also the one with the biggest hole and cavity within the clay so again i'm not the judge here you be the judge you can see exactly what the expansion is on each of these slugs and you can decide based on that which one is your preferred ammo from a expansion point of view the only thing i'm going to say is i had one hell of a lot of fun shooting this it was probably the video that i worked the hardest on to prepare the clay i'm still sweating as i sit here but what a nice result wowza i still can't get over this back to the quiz which slug did you choose and was that your expected winner That's all, folks.